bitch is fucked. <laughs> Man. Yes, uh, people are asking some good questions. Do y'all think Howard Stern killed radio when he went digital? Yeah, I personally do. Howard Stern was a big draw even here in L.A. on 97.1 FM all over the country. And when he went digital, yeah. And, and the, the, the sad thing is, Alonzo, I wonder if you know or if you've heard this before, but I heard a lot of radio people, people in music, everything said when Janet Jack- Jackson's titty popped out, that changed everything. Censorship oh. went through the roof. Yeah, and see, Howard Stern been breaking the rules for a long time. He is the most heavily fined radio personality of all times, okay? He got like half a million dollars worth of fines. and Million, when, two million, yep. To, okay. Uh, when um, when they offered him that deal, because Sirius, Sirius FM, it was Sirius, it was, uh, it, was uh, it wasn't Sirius. Sirius XM. It was Sirius. It was, it was Sirius. just Sirius, and then they merged. They had two of them, right? It was XM and Yeah, Sirius. so it was, yeah, and then they ended up merging, yeah. Right. Um, that shit was $27 a month, and who was going to pay for radio? And when he moved over to that channel, to that, that platform, and was able to do his show the way he wanted to do his show, that changed everything. That's why I can do my show the way I want to do my show right now, because of the internet. I mean, I, I don't cuss as much as I used to. I still cuss. I don't cuss as much as I used to, because I realize I'm, I'm, I'm limiting myself on certain advertisers. But his advertisers, like Samuel L. Jackson's advertisers, is looking for him to cuss. They're looking for him to say stupid, crazy shit. And if he don't say crazy stuff, they're going to swear he was cloned. So all that Baba Booey and, and, the, and, the, and the hookers and, the, and the, uh, slapping on the ass, whatever the case may he was doing, that worked. That was a perfect platform for it. And I'm just surprised I haven't seen more people like him on the radio. You know, I, I listened to uh, Sirius XM. Uh, Urban View, and that's that's a black um, that's a black uh, uh, talk show channel, and mm-hmm. they cuss on that channel. They cuss. I mean, they talk worse than I do, and it. But it still, ain't Howard Sternish. You know what I'm saying? They talk real facts, but they, you know, they, they may what the fuck, you know, whatever the case may be. But you know, Howard Stern, he did. He goes in real deep on sexual situations. Uh, oh yeah, he was shoving baseball bats up girls' butts and all. Like he literally on yeah, it was he was crazy. Right, the stuff he does on radio, he can't do on TV. Okay, even YouTube, like oh man, I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> I ain't messing with you, Howard. But yeah, it's um, but yeah, he he did def- definitely had a, a major impact, and he got a shitload of money for it, man. You know, five hundred million out the gate, five hundred million. But again, was he? He was doing the difference, and, and what, what I like about Howard, okay, he, he he's always been himself no matter what. I just never met the black version of Howard Stern. Right. Okay. Yeah. Is is it, you, t- you can't tell me that ain't nobody else c- it came up with no Howard Stern type stuff. The closest person I can think to Howard Stern is Joe Rogan, and he ain't he ain't, he don't. Oh, now him. Howard Stern. Yeah, uh, Joe Rogan is the new Joe Rogan's the new Johnny Carson. Everything, dude. He, he gets like crazy millions of views a day. Right, right. I haven't seen anybody else do what he does, but um, yeah, I still have yet to meet the black equivalent. Uh, yeah, yeah. Breakfast Club is probably the biggest radio show if we're talking pure radio. Like people okay. only tune into whatever it is, one hundred five, whatever Hot FM in, in New York, but. Breakfast Club is probably the biggest show, but the, even then, they're still not on the level that Howard Stern right, was on. They, He's they, they still uh, milk toast, and you know, uh, milk toast compared to Howard Stern. They, they only can do so much because they on the, they actually on the radio too. So they still on celestial radio. They do have a YouTube and a, a app or whatever, but they still have to watch what they say because they gotta watch out for the FCC. Ooh, unknown Raider guy says we need a West Coast radio station on Sirius Rana Cut, and I'm gonna add to that. It needs to be hosted by Lonzo Williams, and of course, Dusty Vision in the background. Well, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all something, folks. Just so y'all know, I just I'm um, having an app built right now. Okay, on my app, we're gonna do a whole lot of crazy shit. Trust me. It's it's called the Compton Compton Chronicles. That's the app. So I'm gonna have a special uh, lane, special. Part I don't know what you call it yet. I, I don't know all the app terms yet. Special channel in the app for a lot of crazy shit. So that's a little bit different, folks. Yes. And isn't that great that you don't even need to rely on 
Sirius XM or anything, you could probably get a bigger audience through your own app than you would on their station. Yeah. And um, you, and you own it and you own it. Most people don't, a lot of people don't know that if you're on radio, you don't own that content. Like you actually own what you're doing right now. I have to, I, every show I do, I download it and save it on my computer. Cause if YouTube yep. is mad at me, they'll take them all away. You'll never know I existed. Smart. Every app, every, every episode we do, I take it, download it to my computer, put it on a hard drive. Cause if, if YouTube or somebody else, I don't like him anymore. Uh, take his channel away. I'll just, I'll just evaporate with the, like a like smoke in the sun and in, in the wind. So yeah, yeah, you, you have to be aware of what you. That's why I use the app I use, uh, that allow, it allows me to uh, save my audio and my uh, video, um, my video on, on both all my shows, everything I do, I download all of them and keep them on a hard drive. So yeah, if I go to. I Pan- heard a YouTuber. I heard a YouTuber the other day say that he has seven hundred videos and they're all on his phone. I thought to myself, you are a dummy. What do you, that's, this is your master. These are your masters, masters exactly. like, dude. And they're going to be good forever. Let's say you wanted to stop recording and you want to release them again in five years. I mean, you could do whatever you want with this audio and video. And if you have it on your phone and you lose your phone, you dummy, what are you going to do? Only thing you save him if he, if he had it on the uh, on, on cloud. He got a cloud, right. But yeah, you got to have a cloud account. There's 700, this is videos that's two minutes long. That's a lot of goddamn, that's a lot of, that's a lot of space. Anyway, I ain't worried about it. He's, he don't sound that smart. No way. Oh um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I, after a while, man, when you get a little older, you start you you stop talking to dumb people. <laughs> man, it it's so hard for me to communicate with dumb people. I'm in my head. I'm like, how can I get out of this conversation as I soon as possible? I just walk away. I just, hey, man, okay, cool. I, you know, I just learn. I, I got to go, man. I, they, they're looking for me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you just have to learn to walk away because when you argue with a fool. And somebody walk up and see two two people arguing. They don't know which one is the fool. I don't want to be, be mistaken for the idiot. So yeah. All right. Yep, who we got yep. um, uh, let's see. I got a, got a few questions. Uh, Bo Woodson asked uh, Earl, Alonzo, "Have you worked with any Bay Area artists?" Man, you know what? No artists per se. Uh, but I've worked with the man who helped a lot of artists out. That's my boy Adrian Gregory. Uh, but. Um, no, nah, I did a lot of shows in the Bay Area. When I was doing shows in the Bay Area, everybody was still looking at me. <laughs> they were still looking at us do our thing. I mean, I, and I finally met Too Short. I, I mean, I'm loud. So, oh, man, Rod, dude, I know who you are, man. I've been watching y'all. Y'all would come down to the, to, to the Kyle Palace, whatever we were playing up there, and watch y'all do y'all thing, man. Y'all was my inspiration. I had y'all stuff in my, bumping in my trunks. I'd go down to the record store and buy this, buy that, and, and he knew exactly who I was. I never met him before. You know, I was thinking wow. about that. Today, man. There's a show on TV right now. I saw it today, hosted by Grandmaster Class, called uh, "Origins of, of Hip Hop." Anybody called and asked me shit? Okay, anybody called and asked me 